it's giving silk press y'all i am living for this wig right here y'all if you're a beginner and you have never tried out a wig before i highly recommend checking out this one right here my first wigs is known for beginner friendly wigs their wigs come pre-plucked pre-bleached ready to wear you can rock them glueless i want to thank my first wigs for sponsoring today's video now i did go ahead and adhere it with a spray that's my personal preference because i want to make sure that my hair is on. I can snatch this baby. It ain't going nowhere. I don't want any surprises with the wind or anything of that sort. But if you're a glueless girl, you could definitely rock this wig glueless. If you're not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, go ahead, hit that subscribe button down below. Hit that bell so you're notified as soon as your girl posts a new video. And if you would like to see how I got this bomb flawless install that's giving silk press right now, y'all know what to do. Definitely stay tuned. So my wig arrived inside of this box and it also was inside of a pink satin bag. It came with an extra comb, two wig clips, a wig knot healer, a wig cap, as well as a net to protect the texture of the hair. And as you can see, it is a natural yakky texture. This is a 13 by six frontal, y'all. It has two wig combs in the front, one in the back with adjustable straps and extra lace if you would like to put it up in a ponytail. This is 20 inches and she does come pre-plucked and pre-bleached, y'all. As you can see, the hairline looks super natural and it is already customized so you do not have to do anything yourself. So the only thing that you want to do is make sure that you cut your lace in a zigzag motion. You can get this motion the best with an eyebrow razor, but you can also use your scissors. I use the razor on one side and then scissors on the other so you can see that it honestly does not matter as long as you keep that scissor moving so it creates a zigzag motion. And then I'm going to go in with my Ben Wonderlay spray in the black container, wait for it to get tacky, and then go ahead and lay the lace. I'm just laying the lace on one side today, and then I'm going to do the other side. I normally do both sides at once, but I really wanted this lace to melt, so I'm doing the sides separately. And I noticed there was a little bit of lace that didn't get adhered down, so I'm just taking the spray and then using my rat tail comb to lay that lace so every piece of lace is melted. Now we're gonna go ahead and do the exact same thing on the other side of the head. The hairline looks so clean and natural as is, so I didn't want to do baby hairs across, but I did want to do baby hairs right by the ear tabs. I like that look, so that is what I'm doing here. I'm using a little bit of gel. Next, I'm going to clip the hair back and out of the way, and I'm going to apply my elastic band to further melt this lace. I'm going to do my makeup, and I'll be right back. So I did my makeup off camera. I'll leave a card up top if you would like the makeup tutorial for this look. As you can see, the lace is nice and melted. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the parting space. It is a 13 by six inch frontal, so it does have six inches of parting space, and it has freestyle parting, so you can part it wherever on the frontal, y'all. It looks so good. I did not do the ball cap method. I just have a wig cap on. So I'm gonna do a middle parting today. I wanted to do like a silk press and bump the ends. So I'm gonna take my wax stick around the parting and then a bit of my olive oil spritz. And then I'm going to use my hot comb to lay that hair down nice and flat. Next, I'm gonna do some face framing layers in the front with my shears. Mm -hmm. 
So next I'm gonna take my cheap flat iron and I'm going to bump the ends of the hair and it's going to give a nice silk press bump ends kind of vibe that I was going for today. That's another reason why I did the face framing layers because it looks so good when you bump the ends of the hair. And here is the final look, y'all. I think it turned out super cute. I don't normally do straight hair with bump ends, but I think that it looked great with this wig. Let me know what you think about this wig and the style in the comments down below. Would you rock this look? The texture of this hair is bomb. It is a nice yakky texture, but it's not too crinkly. I don't know if y'all have ever had a yakky wig that has like a crimpy type look. I don't like that, but this one feels super thick. It definitely has a coarseness to it, but it still looks very flawless and it looks like a silk press, y'all. If you enjoyed this install, definitely give it a thumbs up, share it with all your friends. And if you're interested, interested in checking out this wig from my first wigs, I will leave a link down below in the description box for you guys, as well as a coupon code so you can get a discount on this baby. And I will catch y'all in my next video. Bye. If you would like to see the makeup tutorial for this look, it's already up. Go ahead, click the box right here. It's going to take you straight to the video.